Alrighty then, hoping you had a fantastic... See, this is what happens on a Monday. I'm picking up the wrong thing to start speaking. But anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. This is Prosper. I am hoping you had a fantastic weekend. Um, yeah, and this is the last day of uh, July. I take it as the 31st of July where I'm at right now. So that actually means we have gone through the seventh month of the year. How are you tracking? How's that going for yourself? I see Trish has just tuned in. Thank you so much for tuning in. I was so excited to see you on uh, uh, Friday then. And Vanessa, Vanessa, thank you so much for being yourself. I'm hoping you had a fantastic uh, weekend then. Right, guys, as you all know, my name is Prosper Tarubinga and I'm the founder and CEO of Live Long Digital. Yo! Basically, one-stop shop for everything digital marketing if you're a small to medium business enterprise. Now, my job is really simple. I craft digital marketing uh, tips for you every single uh, day, Monday through to Friday, so that you can start, scale, and grow a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Steven, how's it going, my man? Hope you had a fantastic weekend. Now, today, I'm coming in with something that I think touches on a lot of entrepreneurs. Matthew, thank you so much for tuning in, my brother. I'm talking about, first of all, a case of the Mondays and also a case of some people might be having goals that they might have and most of them seem like they're out of reach and how you can actually stay motivated um, as an entrepreneur when things seem not to be working along with, um, you know, the way that you want, okay? So, you know, maybe at the moment you've been working on your business, you've been working on maybe your website, you've probably been working on branding yourself, or you've probably working on putting content out there, and all you hear is crickets, all right? And then you've probably been working on, working on client projects, um, and f you know, for some particular reason, it just seems like it's dragging on and on and on, and you're not getting those results that you're looking for, okay? You might be growing really, really frustrated at the moment, and you probably have nothing to show for it. It might be a scenario where you've been working the whole month, now is the end of the month, they probably want their results, they probably want, you know, maybe you were supposed to get conversions for them, or maybe they wanted revenue, but you've got nothing of that. How would you stay motivated and continuously create and relate to the customers that you wanna work for, okay? The biggest problem that a lot of us have is we've got nothing to show for what we do. Most of the work that we're doing is online, and there's no way you can show your spouse, your boss, your, your husband, or whoever is expecting results from you that, okay, look, these are the likes that I got this month. This is the sort of return of investment that you've got. You've got nothing to show for it, all right? Trust me, I'm an investor with properties, with um, all the other stock portfolios that I might have. When they want their money or when the bills are needed, they never take likes as payment, all right? So you might not have monetary, um, you know, <laughs> uh, value to show for it. And then don't let that get to you. All right. Don't let that really, you know, determine how you're going to measure your own particular success, because without you being strong up here, it will, um, you know, put you back instead of moving you forward. And especially on a Monday, on the last day of the month, a lot of you might be going through that, um, that, that whole process. Barbara, thank you so much for tuning in and um, glad to hear that you're back working. I know you might have been going through a few things with your mom over the weekend. All right, so how long can you keep up this charade or how long can you keep going without you actually giving up? All right, I've been working in this uh, business for the last Okay, I've been in Australia for six years and I've been working on my business for the last four years, all right? And day in and day out, I'm showing up with my tie, with my shirt, take a shower in the morning and I'm talking to clients every single day, all right? That already puts me in a frame of mind that what I'm doing is important, all right? The one big thing that is really, really, really making you not focus or concentrate or feel like giving up is because you're not treating what you're doing as 
a work as work or as a job. You bought into the idea that you don't have a boss and you can do whatever you feel like. And that's the reason why whenever something goes wrong, you feel like you don't want to keep doing it. All right. And you know what then happens with that? self-doubt, um, you know, when, when projects don't seem to be working or they're taking forever, you quickly get frustrated, all right? Now, I'm here to tell you that at the end of the day, all you really, really need to do is set your own expectations, set your client's expectations, and once you've got that down packed, it's easy for you to motivate yourself. You know why? Because you know you've got A, B, and C to tackle, and no matter what anybody's going to say, you are going to show them results. Okay, because it's hard for you to show your hard work. It's hard for you to show results on anything that's online. People don't count likes because likes don't buy, um, you know, um, they don't pay for electricity bills. Likes don't pay for the car note. Likes don't pay mortgages. All right. So it's really hard to translate what we are doing as a job into real life expectations of day to day living. That's why a lot of us give up without seeing or noticing what it is that we're actually doing. All right. Jack, thank you so much for tuning in if you're still there. So I've been working with a lot of clients that have been going through this high roller coaster of today it's good and then their morals are high and then tomorrow it's it's not so good and then their morals are low and that also you know it fluctuates the output and the work that you're putting out there at the end of the day I want to tell you that you're the only person that really has to care about your output, that really has to care about the results, and that really has to care about how you are going to be putting yourself out there. So sometimes you might be sitting there and, and thinking, okay, this is almost the end of July. I haven't got any results. There's no money or whatever course that I put out there. Nobody is showing me the results. Is it worth keep going on? Should I just give up? Sometimes you should just give up because this whole entrepreneurial thing, this is not the only dream available, okay? Because if you hear what other people say, the number two guy at Facebook is probably richer than most CEOs out there. The number 56 guy who is working in another company is doing a whole lot more than other business entrepreneurs out there. So figure out if this is really your calling because at the end of the day, you've got people's money, time, their effort, their hopes and dreams that you're supposed to be looking after, okay? So once self-doubt is creeping in, I want you to start asking yourself one question. You need to ask yourself, is this useful? I put that up yesterday in my, um, um, you know, in my news feed to, this question is going to help you realize that what you're doing right now, what you're currently pursuing is it useful? Is it going to help you get the, the, the goals that you want? Is it going to help your clients? Is it going to be needed in society? Is it useful? All right. So now if you walk away knowing the answer and if you walk away knowing that what you're doing is needed, what you're doing is going to help somebody solve some particular problem, then you've got every right to fight for it because you know why? Your life depends on it. And the life of those people that you're going to be helping out depends on it. The only negativity you will come across, the only negative feeling that you start, you know, receiving is because what you're doing is not useful. I might, I might sound a bit harsh right now, but if you find yourself not being motivated to wake up every single day and create and relate to the people that you're doing, what you might be doing is not useful. All right. So it's it, it even gets harder to keep flogging and motivate yourself on something that you literally do not believe in. All right. It's not easy for me to show up every single day, sometimes to an empty audience and, 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 and you know, do out this video for 30 minutes and, you know, keep it up whether people are watching or not, because I know a lot of people will watch in post production. All right. So it's a Monday today and wherever you are, it might not be a Monday, but it will be. And if you find yourself waking up and not wanting to work or not really excited about what's about to happen or whose life you're going to serve, you really need to question yourself is what I'm doing useful? Who needs it and why should they care? 
Because if you're not finding it inside of you, you will find yourself being, you know, you're just churning, churning, churning customers and you're not finding real fulfillment. All right, you lose focus and you're not on track because you just want things to work. But if you're in it because this is what you want to do, your calling is, is, is depending on this to make sure that this business becomes the thing that you want to exist in life, then you will find yourself motivated even if no one is watching, even if no one is giving you praise, even if no one is, um, you know, saying good on you or giving you a pat on the back all right barbara says i love what i do and i love mondays this is so good to hear barbara because a lot of people will be typing in all oh, mondays what what why are you doing it why should you be worrying yourself and and trying to recreate something when you're not capable of doing it i mean obviously um the whole entrepreneurial dream is is is, is sold to everyone but the hustle is sold separately. All right? <laughs> Barbara says, I like your shirt. Oh, thank you. I didn't even notice that <laughs> it could be a topic or subject of, um, of, of, of uh, communication. But that's it. Everybody gets the dream, but the hustle. All right? So at the end of the day, at the end of the day, if what you're doing and the results you're producing is not exactly what you're looking for, ask yourself the one question I asked earlier. Is this enough? Is this needed? All right, once we get down to that, and once you've got an answer to that, now figure out who are you gonna serve and why should they care? Once you find out those questions, I assure you, you wake up every day as a holiday, if you ask me, and Come right up, come right up. Everybody would hear about your story. Everybody would know of your existence. All right? Now, for you to continuously now go on and keep on delivering, etc., etc., you also need to feed your soul. The reason is you're giving out all this energy. You're giving out all this love. You're giving out all this help, all this value. You need to you know, replenish it yourself. You need to replenish back yourself so that you're also, um, you know, filled up. You know, there's a lot of ways to do this. Maybe professionally, you could find the best way, you know, to feed your soul is to actually surround yourself with people that are positive and that have your best interest at heart. All right. The reason why sometimes you just feel like it's, it's, it's not working or whatever. Maybe it's the energy around you. Maybe you're around people that are not motivated. Maybe you're around people that are not going anywhere. So maybe that energy is being transferred to you as well. So you need to guard the inputs, all the people that are around you, those that email you, those that call you, or people that are in your news feed. All right? Every single day, I reach out to 10 different people, but at the same time, I'm unfollowing a lot of people because I can see that, yes, you could be a prospect in the future, but right now, I don't want to listen to your crap. Some people are really good to be around, so you want to make sure that you are around like-minded, motivated people and people that you can rub off of. Over the weekend, um, on Friday, me, Trish, um, and Matt, we went in and we chilled out, um, you know, just having drinks and we were all just having a fantastic time. Like it, it felt like we'd known each other for, for, for a long time. And that was, what was such a really good experience transferring the online relationships that we have into the, um, you know, real life experiences. Okay. So at the end of the day, you really need to, to, to gather around people that their support is going to be moving you forward. Okay. Can you imagine if you call me on a Monday morning and you're like, ah, oh, prosper. Hey, how was your weekend? I'll be like, brother, I did this. I went on a 50 kilometer ride. My little girl is in some class and we went in and then they asked me to speak so much energy. And can you imagine if I transfer that energy to you will your week? or your day, or your month, or your year, not be, you know, energized. So you really got to guard those people that are around you, because it's the small things. It's the little things. You know, somebody might just say, ah, oh, I'm tired. Automatically, you start feeling tired. Have you ever noticed when you're working in an environment, and somebody says, oh, I'm hungry. 
um, I really want to, yeah, let, let's go grab a coffee or something. Automatically, you start feeling hungry. Automatically, your mind starts, you know, you know, growling as well. All right. So you need to master all the support that you can get and all the support that can help you to lift yourself up. All right. So if you're finding yourself not being motivated, maybe it's not you. Maybe it's not your fault. It's the people and the things that are around you. All right. You know, you need to really figure out what are the inputs that are coming in. Sometimes we, uh, yes, exactly, like what Trish says, when somebody yawns, everybody in the room yawns because it's contagious. So you don't want them coming in with their crud, you know, and, 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 and influencing the rest of your day. All right. So maybe if you're working in a team and you know how much sort of um, some people are negative influences, just try and stay away from them. Okay, and, and make sure that your inputs, everything else that you hear, because we, your subconscious hears a lot more than you give it credit for. Have you ever walked past um, a TV and they're talking about death and things like that, and then you just feel like you want to cry? You don't know why, because your subconscious mind heard that, but you did not put it in your frontal cortex to, to you know, to, 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 to digest that message. But your subconscious heard that and it felt sad. Now you don't realize what's making you sad. It's your environment. All right. I respect a lot of people's opinions and, and or, or whatever it is, but I don't want it around me. It's just that easy to do. If you can move away from all these things that are negative influences to you, you will find out that you will start having, you know, a, a business that's profitable and enjoyable and your life is worth living as well. All right. The other thing that a lot of people don't do is they lose sight of the big picture. All right. Sometimes what people don't do is they don't they don't write their goals down. All right. I've got two books here. I've got two books. This one is for my weekly and daily goals that I fill in every single day. And this one is for my yearly goals. All right. If you see or if you hear the kind of stuff that I put in here, You'll be surprised as to where exactly I'm taking myself to. One of them is, I'm going to own a $100 million company, and this will be done in four stages. Number one, it will be done through consulting and coaching. This is the first stage that we're doing right now. Second stage is um, software as a service, online prosperity blueprint, game plus membership, which is what I'm already working in. There's a website already called Online Prosperity Syndicate. You can check that out. And number three is investing and angel investing. I've already started the investing part. Now the angel investing is also helping those people that I would have helped to coach. All right. And number four is buying up all coached businesses, etc., etc., And have maybe $100 million, uh, $1 million in disposable cash. Have the best selling books in digital marketing, etc., etc. Now can you imagine if one person does not respond or hangs up on me while I'm trying to call them. And, um, you know, would that spoil my whole day? No, I just look at where I'm going. And then I just noticed that they probably were not, they probably were not even part of the process of what I'm trying to create. All right. So if you write down your goals and your visions and everything else that is needed or where you are going, it will keep you grounded. It will keep you focused on the bigger picture because the biggest thing that happens is we let small things we let small things ruin our excitement because we are not focusing on the big picture. Do you know what I mean? L.A. Williams, how's it going? And for all those that don't know, L.A. Williams is going to be dropping a podcast that is called Five Senses. So you guys be on the lookout for that uh, podcast with L.A. Williams. But what I'm trying to say is if your goals are not written out and you don't have them to back up what you're doing and how you're going to be doing it, you will always be miserable because everybody else is going to try and make you sound or feel small. But if you know that you're stepping on something huge, nothing, nothing will get to you. All right. Monday is only 24 hours. You've got the rest of your life to live. So if you're not putting stuff down, that is going to be where you're headed to. Small things will get to you. All right. So, you know, that's that's about it, guys. If you if you first of all are doing 
what you absolutely love, you will always have the motivation, you will always have the energy because you know what? Your, your purpose in life is needed and you're fulfilling what you're meant to be doing. All right, and if you're not surrounding people, if you're not surrounding yourself with people that are going somewhere, obviously those people will, will always bring you down. All right, and if you're not writing down the stuff or where you want to head to or the things that you want to do and communicate them with so much energy, then obviously you're just going to be a one-click wonder. All right, I'm, I'm hoping that you sitting here for 30 minutes, you really want to go places, you really want to do stuff. All right, and I want to be a part of your journey. I want to read about you. I want to know about you. You know why? Because people are going to be, you know, talking about you everywhere else. And L.A. Williams says, don't let small things distract you from your destiny. Exactly. All right. So right now I could have been pissed off. Somebody keeps trying to ring me. Obviously they don't know that this time is sacred. It's time for me and you. All right. I'll forgive them because they don't know the big picture. The big picture is me laying a foundation of where I want to be, how I want to do things. Okay. So sometimes we forget where we are going because we're not putting it down and we're not keeping it close to where we want to go. All right. I'll show you another thing that's really um, funny as well. All right. Visualize where exactly you want to go and how you want to go. All of these are small business plans. All of these are small little business plans, right? So if anything fails, I've got all this to look at. All right. One of them is like, I'll give you one telco in a box. Looks like a solid startup business. All you need to get is more customers. Think like amazing. All right. And then it came here. 2017 goals. Become an author. Become a speaker. Become a coach. Uh, become a seminar leader. Become a consultant. And become an online advice guru. I wrote this in 2013. All right. So if you really, really have a vision towards where you want to go, nothing will ever, ever get to you, you know? You would ask yourself, what is this all about? Is this useful? Why am I doing these videos? I'm doing these for my legacy. When these videos are taken out and then they're put on my YouTube, those people that haven't know, known about me will get to know me. This is going to transcend me. This is part of what I'm trying to build. So whether there's five people or people that don't even show up on this, I don't care. This is part of my big picture. You know, that's what it's all about. Anyway, sometimes you might have forgotten what you wanted to do or who you wanted to become. Most of us do, you know, and then to one extent to another, we get caught up in the daily grind, in the, in the daily hustle. And, you know, we just do whatever it is to keep to keep, you know, lights on or whatever. But if you work with the end in, in sight, all you're doing is reverse engineering and making sure that every single thing that you're doing is moving you towards your destiny. I assure you, you will definitely, definitely move mountains. You would obviously probably just need firm ground for you to actually move the mountains like that. All right. So make sure you're writing it down, maybe on a huge board like that. That's a coke board or on a plaster and, you know, just or maybe take note of it on a computer, whichever way you can do it. Find an image that represents your goal or visualize it and then hang it within your light sight of vision. Every time I'm on the computer, somebody writes me a letter saying, oh, no, I'm not interested. I look up there and I'm looking at, okay, $100 million company. We're going to do this in four stages. The first stage is coaching and consulting. The second stage is a software as a service. The third stage is investment in digital products. And the fourth stage is legacy and world domination. Now, do you think that person who just sent me an email is going to get to me? No, because they're... Their, you know, their words don't go anywhere near to where I want to go. So I don't need them. Automatically, you have power over anything that could put you down. Yeah. And then you start thinking about why you're working so hard. It then energizes you because, you know, you've got something you're looking forward to. And don't forget to ask for help, guys. If you ever need to 
you know, figure out something or you want clarity on something, when something isn't working, stop, ask for help, ask your manager, ask your mentor for their advice. Somebody who has been there, somebody who's done that would definitely have an answer for you. Okay. Don't wait too long until you can ask because sometimes you might feel stuck. All right. And sometimes that might even sort of limit your your options on on going any further you know what i mean and somebody might just know a trick on how to do it it might just be an easy fix and you might waste the whole day you know um, you know beating on yourself and, and and thinking you're a failure when you're not just pick up the phone ask somebody or write a message etc etc all right and uh tree says not everyone is a customer remember that people come in your peripheral for a reason and find that reason yeah exactly exactly because like we say trish rich people have poor friends so that they can be reminded on of you know you know what it is like to be poor all right so at the end of the day when somebody comes in like yeah like that in your periphery they're probably just making you realize the kind of customer that you don't want and learn from that so that you don't attract and keep attracting ain't shit people all right. So it's it's always one of those things. First of all, do what you love. Second of all, make sure you are writing it down. Third of all, make sure you ask yourself this question. Is this useful? Will somebody really need this? All right. And third of all, yeah. Did I mention write it down? And when you write it down, um, yeah associate yourself with people that are actually going somewhere so that this would you know become something that you put in mind and put into action all right because like attracts like you will definitely rub off if you're hanging around people that are going places all right and if anything just try and always inspire yourself when i'm working i don't listen to anything else i don't listen to egg sheeran i don't listen to whoever you know britney spears or whatever i listen to motivational stuff because then i'm feeding my subconscious mind that's when you know if, if i'm working um you know fully on on the computer and and, and 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 stuff like that i just make sure all that i'm doing is feeding my mind with positive stuff you could have mentors that don't even know that you're a mentor always make sure that you're feeding your mind because this is how it works out when you squeeze an orange, yeah, only orange juice comes out. You would never squeeze an orange and get apple juice out of it, all right? So whatever is inside is what will always come out, all right? Whatever is inside there is what will always come out. So if you have got gunk, porn, um, Stuff that's not important here. That's what is going to be translated and that's what other people see But if you you know in, in keeping an environment that's happy an environment that's full of positivity an environment That's you know functional it will help you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable and like what Peter says You will always have a happy Monday All right, look at the time now the time now is the last day of July. This is month number seven. All right. We're only five months away from Christmas. We're only five months away to studying all over again. What have you done? What have you achieved? All right. Because there's one thing about, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. But if you're not coming out with results, they are not accepting likes comments and shares at the bank if you want to pay your mortgage or your electricity bills. Trust me, I've tried. All right? So you want to make sure that whatever you're doing, you, you, you've got your goals in check, you've got your, you know, your environment in check, you've got all the things that will help you achieve your goals. All right? I really want to see every single one of you at the top. It's a bit lonely up here, to be frank. So you really want to make sure that whatever you're doing, you're doing it to your best effort. You're writing your goals down and you're really putting it out there so that people that are, you know, know how to do it or know how to help you will reach out and be like, Hey, Peter, I heard you talking about this. Let me help you. 
All right? And make sure you guard your influences. Because garbage in, garbage out. Gigo. All right? So you want to make sure that whatever, if you want to create a brand that's going to transcend you, that's going to be known, liked, and trusted by people, you better start changing the way you treat your Mondays. You better start changing your behaviors around your work, how you present yourself. That way you'll be motivated. You know why? Because you know you're building something of substance. All right? And don't forget to give, guys. Look at what just happened in the last 30 minutes. I gave 30 minutes of my day away. All right? This time is frozen now in, in life or in, 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 in the future and everywhere else. The more you give, you know, the more you get to keep. Somebody's going to share this video. Somebody's going to watch this video a little bit later on. I will help them. Then they would know me. So try to give more than you're receiving. Try to create more than you're consuming. All right? That way you will be motivated and you will stay on focus and you will keep reaching your goals. Like I said, guys, I really want you to win. And if you've got any questions, let's continue them in the uh, comments below. But in the meantime, thank you so much for tuning in. Let's catch up again tomorrow. Same time, same place. And tomorrow is going to be... Oh, let's catch up again next month. Because tomorrow is going to be the 1st of August. And it marks the beginning of my birthday month. All right? So start making sure you're following your goals. Start making sure that you're really excited about what you're doing, who you are, and who you're becoming. Because that's where the currency comes in. The person you're becoming. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day, guys.